Excuse me? Tess, you haven't said one helpful thing in any of our meetings over the past two weeks. Now, are you part of this or not? There's no need to raise your voice. Well, I'm sorry, but there is every reason to raise my voice. We've got a deadline to meet here, and it's coming up fast. Now, do either of you two realize that? Yeah. Susan said you were having a problem with your desk lamp, Mr. Satterfield? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it just stopped working. I, I had Susan change the bulb, but... Uh... I'll check the wiring. Thanks. At least someone around here is doing that job. Alex, wouldn't you like to have a more flexible schedule that would allow you more time at your son's activities? Well, sure, who wouldn't? In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. Yes, he did. Where are we going? We're working here, Tess, remember? Oh. Where are we going? I'll get this fixed right away. Uh, yeah, thanks. Where are we going? Monica, may I have a word with you? Do you want to tell me what's going on? Tess is showing the early symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, but she's going to be fine. Monica, if Tess has Alzheimer's, she's not going to be fine. That's not the way this disease works. I know that's normally true, it's but... It's true always. But I'm sure this isn't easy, but we both have a job to do. I know. We can't have this distraction. There's nowhere else for her to go. I, I know a place that comes highly recommended. They'll take good care of Tess. I can't do that. I'll get the number. Father, please help me. I don't know what to do. We provide the basics, and you bring the personal touches. Pictures, keepsakes, that kind of thing. This is only temporary, Tess, until I finish our assignment, and then I'll take you home. You said I was going to stay with you. I tried, Tess. It's always difficult at first. There's a call button on the side of the bed if you need anything. Oh, I'm not going to need anything. I'm an angel. This is only temporary. I don't want to stay here. I know, but I really need to finish our assignment. I'll go with you, and I'll help you. No. You'll be fine here, I promise. And I'll come back later. I don't want to stay here. I want to go with you. Not this time, Tess. I don't want to stay here. Feels everything in his own time. I like the green one, but the blue one is nice. I heard the tornado siren today. Hi, Monica. Hello, Alex. Um, this is my friend Andrew. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's my dad, Carlos. I better catch up. You need some help? Oh, thanks. I asked them for chocolate, but they only had blueberry. I asked them for chocolate, but they only had blueberry. I kept them at home for a long time. But I come by every night, feed them dinner. Isn't that right, Appa? These aren't my clothes. Where are my clothes? So what are you doing here, Monica? I brought Tess here. This is a nice place. Let's take good care of her. Of course, the Tower of London is much larger. I like the way the cheese melts over the bread. <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> nice to meet you both. This is Irene Satterfield. As in David Satterfield? 
This is his mother. There you are. God reveals everything in his own time. Does she have any family? Oh, yes, she has lots and lots of family. But they're very far away. I'm her closest friend. Mm. She's always taken care of me. Well, that's just the way life is, honey. She took care of you. Now it's your turn. Hello, Tess. Oh, Monica. It's been three days. Don't you think you should get out of bed? How was your lunch? The food is terrible. Would you like me to get you something else? I'm not hungry. I just finished lunch. I could really use some Tess wisdom. I'm... I'm having a hard time with my assignment. I just can't get through to him. Oh, and he has an answer for everything. Meanwhile, he's missed two of his daughter's soccer matches and his wife has all but given up on him. That's wonderful. Tess, it's not. If, if he doesn't change, he's about to lose everything. Well, you just go right ahead. Are you listening to me? Is it lunch time yet? You've already had lunch. It must be time for lunch now. What should I say to David? Well, I like tuna fish. Could I have a tuna fish sandwich? Tess, are you listening to me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you doing today, Tess? She hasn't got out of bed. I see. Any pain? No, there doesn't seem to be. Thank you, Monica. Let's hear what Tess has to say. Well, there aren't any physical limitations that are keeping you in bed, as far as I can see. And I'd sure like to see you up and around a little more. Good. You're doing just fine, Monica. Just remember, it's gonna take her a little more time to respond to things than it used to, and she won't always get it right, but that's okay. Just let her try. To? to God. I talk to him all the time, you know. Yes, uh, David, I will get those numbers for you. But it, it's just that I've been running a bit behind. Okay, fine. I'll see you then. I'm messing everything up. You need to cut yourself some slack. You are one angel, and you're doing the work for two, and you're spending all your free time here with Tess. I yelled at her, Andrew. God, forgive me. I yelled at her. I know it's not her fault, but I really needed her to help me, and she wasn't paying attention, and I... Monica, I don't think that Tess can help you anymore. I know. Thank you, Susan. David, I'm sorry I'm late, but I was thinking, and I have this idea. Your daughter has another soccer match in an hour. We could take the budget over there, you know, go over it and watch the game. Do you realize this merger closes in two weeks and we're not even halfway through yet? I know that we're a little behind, but think of your daughter. How many things are you going to miss in her life before she stops asking you to be part of it? My family's not your concern. But it should be your concern. When I see you ignoring your wife and your daughter in the same way that you ignore your mother... What? Your mother is in the same nursing home as Tess. When was the last time that you went to visit her? 
We have a real problem here, Monica. Yes, I know that we do. And I have a dilemma, too, because I have a job to do and I can't abandon it. But I can't abandon my friend either. I love her. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I know. Monica. Things happen in this world, David. And, and we sometimes aren't given the answers that we would like to have. But we are always given the time with the people we love before it's too late. Please, don't throw your time away. How dare you presume to know anything about me all my life? Let me tell you what I know. Hmm? My mother was the smartest, most creative, loving woman in the world, and I would have done anything for her. But none of that matters anymore because that woman is gone. And this one doesn't even know I'm there. And if I choose to work a little harder these days and do what I have to do to keep things together, then damn you for deciding that's wrong. Yeah. All right, tell them I'll be right there. I'm hiring a new transition team. Oh, no, David, really, I can do it. No, you cannot do this. You have some place you have to be right now until you discover you can't go there anymore either. Uh... Gentlemen, thank you for coming. I tried to do both, but but I, I couldn't. While I was there, all I could think about was you, and I think that that's good and right, because, because I love you, and God knows that I do, and I'm sure that's why he sent Sam and Raphael to take over the case. What is this place? Uh, this is a nursing home. What is this place? It's a nursing home, Tess. What is this place? It's a safe place, Tess. A good place. I think... I think I know that. I'm sorry, baby. The Lord moves in mysterious ways His wonders to perform He plants His footsteps on the sea And He rides on every storm Let's sing a, a song, huh? What would you like to sing, Tess? Abide with me, fast falls the even tide. The darkness deepens. Is it really so dark in there, Tess? Tess? Who are you? Oh, oh no, God, please, no. Tess. Oh, Tess. 